YouTube, Superhero Joe, your friendly neighborhood content creator, back again for another reaction. Uh, we're getting into it. We're rolling through a couple today. I'm getting, you're going to see the same messy hair, crazy goofy looking Joe today. And maybe for the next couple of videos while I'm just steam rolling through videos and getting some other content in the works together for you guys. Uh, today we're checking out Rotnest, uh, their song World. I'm super excited. Again, we got some really awesome fucking metal music. And a lot of other really cool styles being recommended in the Discord. Remember, if you join the Discord, the Discord link is down below. You can come and be a part of our everyday conversation. We talk about games. We talk about music. We have watch parties. We watch movies or, or listen to more live reactions, things like that. Because DMCA sucks on Twitch. And we're doing a lot with just our normal everyday conversations. So if you guys want to be a part of that. If you want to recommend content to the channel, I check there first. And then I go through YouTube comments depending on what's being liked, what's popular, what people like uh, in general. But in Discord, I have a whole bunch of stuff going through. Uh, so I would love for you to come and join the Discord and come recommend some content. Come hang out with us. Um, secondly, if you want to catch on the like the live conversations, I do Twitch. I stream on Twitch. I play video games. I hang out. We talk about music and stuff there too as well. Twitch.tv slash X Superhero Joe X. Come over and hang out with us. We stream at least three times a week. And then lastly, if you want to support the channel, come and hang out with us on Twitch and support. Or if you want to check out some merch, we have a merch link down below through Teespring. All right enough yapping i've said the same thing so many times today because of youtube anyway we're gonna check out rottenness this is their song world um i'm i'm curious i don't know a lot about this band i don't i've heard the name float around once or twice before um this apparently released october 9th so this is relatively fresh i'm very excited to check it out so in the meantime let's go ahead and hit some buttons and make things happen slam worldwide baby you know it's gonna be a good one Oh, this is gonna be mean, isn't it? This is gonna be mean. Oh no. Oh! The bell. Oh. Oh, fuck. Woo. You guys, if you if you've been watching the channel for a while now, you know there's a couple things that that pander to me. Kubla Khan's one of them. Guy, can I go a video without mentioning Kubla Khan? Kubla Khan's one of them. Beat down in general, and panic, and chaotic chords. You know what I mean? Like real screechy fucking. Oh no! Someone's about to chase me, or someone's chasing me. Kind of like panicky. And this has got a lot of those things. It got he. Mm. All right. So showmanship wise, the video is fucking awesome. I like the bags over the head. I like the blindfold. I think those are nice touches. It gives that creepy vibe, that element that you want with some of these styles. And the panic and the, the 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 chaotic nature of this fucking track so far. The guitarist is nuts. Vocalist reminds me a lot of Tyler Denner from Sworn In, and I love that. Uh, I was always a big Sworn In fan. The drummer is another big highlight, and I would I would argue that the bassist and the drummer are kind of in sync, kind of in that like fucking heavy kind. Of, I don't know how to put it. Fuck, they're just in sync. It works. Oh man, this is the fucking monster already. Can we breathe for two seconds, guys? Fuck. Okay, all right, let's go back. Pulls you in and out so well. The bags are such a nice touch. They must have done this for Halloween, bro. That's why I came out in October. This is sick. Ooh, 
Okay, all right, we're at the halfway point. We're gonna breathe. We're gonna try to figure this out. Again, structurally speaking, the song is very well done. It's got that chaotic nature, but it's got a way of pulling you in and pulling you out as far as the beat and the rhythm goes. And I, I love that. I like the, I like the real misleading setups that they're doing with the guitars. It almost found, it's like, it, it, I guess the way I'm trying to put it is, it's almost, it gives you that sense of predictability and then it goes the other fucking way. It's unpredictable, duh. It, but it gives you that false sense of like, oh shit, I think I know what's about to come up next. And psych, it's not it. It's something completely different. It's kind of chaotic. And I think that's what really shines in this. The vocalist, again, his uh, his projection and the way he talks and the way he screams, it's so, it's a good kind of, um, uh, I don't want to call it a screech, but it's a good kind of stretch of, on his voice. Does that make sense? The way he's kind of stretching things fucking works. I like this. I like. I wish I would have, it's one of those things, like, man, I wish I would have found this band sooner. This is fucking awesome. I love this kind of stuff. Let's go ahead. We're halfway through it. Let's see what else is up. It's hitting lows. Fucking soul in this track, bro. Holy hell. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. One more pause before the end of the track. That low is nice. That that was fucking mean. That little guttural right there. I gotta fuck with it. Heavy. Man. It's just tracks like these just make you want to appreciate like underground, like, uh, you know, not huge artists. Like, I like that. I mean, I love big bands, too. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I plan to check out the new Architects uh, video here soon. But it, low key bands like this, I love this kind of stuff. There's a lot more passion, a lot more, uh, you know, love that goes into it or hatred. I don't know what to call it. Emotion. There's a lot more emotion that goes into these tracks, I think. Because I've been a part of some of those like underground low key bands. No, local bands, I guess, and seeing how much work and thought process can go into a song and how that emotion is supposed to convey during a show or a video or whatever. I've seen a lot of that. So I have a, 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 a bias, kind of like appreciation for the art form. But man, this is dope. Again, it's one of those things I wish I would have found sooner. Let's finish off the video. Let's get it going. Oh. Slow it down. Ooh. Ooh. So well done. So well fucking done. Guys, that was Rottenest, Whirl, and Bread fucking whirled my shit. That was really cool. That was really interesting. Let's talk video. The video was very simple, but they did enough to transform the video to kind of give you, not necessarily a story, but an illusion, I, I would argue. Something that you can sit there and think like, oh, okay, I wonder what happened to this individual. Why are they dressed like that? The bags on the head, the blindfold, those are really cool. There was something symbolic about that, and I like that. And enough to keep you wondering and like that's why i said illusion um i really like that kind of stuff and i really like the the chaotic nature of the song i like how panicky and unpredictable it was um there was a lot right with it there was a lot that i thought they could have done a little bit better uh his voice is one of those things that i were, were kind of stand out stand outish for me was the, the the way he stretched certain lyrics the way he did get low it fit his it fit the persona and the style of the band, I think. He didn't go super low. He didn't go super high. 
it was really fucking cool it was a very good medium and i like that um a few things i would want is uh the breakdown i felt like he could hit just a little harder and i feel like the bridge could have been a little bit more structured i guess but aside from that that's just, again this is all my opinion it's just things i like about music and things that i would want to see different I'm excited. I like this band a lot, and I do want to check out more of them. If you know some other good Rotten Ass songs, please link them down below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to give this one a solid 8 out of 10 as well. There was a few things I would have changed. There was a few things I would have personally liked to hear from this band. But all in all, the buildup and the, the style, the, the art, all of it. Big fan. I like it. I want to hear more from them. So let me know what you guys think, and let me know what you thought of the video. What, what did you give the rating? Was it a one? Was it a seven? Maybe a five, maybe a six. Let me know what you guys think of the video down below. And if you want to see more stuff, comment down below. Join the Discord. You can recommend videos over there. Uh, come hang out with us on Twitch. We can talk about music over on my Twitch channel. And, you know, if you want to support the Twitch channel, go over there and follow, subscribe, and then come and hang out. And, and then if you want to subscribe and follow for some more stuff, you can come do that over here. We got a whole bunch of fun stuff for you. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching today. Uh, be on the lookout for some more videos coming through. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Stay awesome. Stay metal.